Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. This week we're drawing this fennec fox. Isn't it cute? So you're going to need something round to draw around. I'm just using this parcel tape roll here. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a ruler and also a black pen. And don't forget, if you like drawing animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you can find in the link just here. Let's get started. Okay, so get your round object and place it just slightly to the right hand side of your page and then draw a circle. Easy. Next one, get your ruler and just above the bottom of the circle, just draw a line just going across, just like that. Okay, now we're going to be doing a wiggly line, starting from roughly the center of the circle. We're gonna come down across and down again. Now this is going to be the tail of the fox. So you'll see, it'll take shape in a second. Next we're going to be doing the head of the fox. So just draw a shape, just starting here, come up, come round and down. It's sort of an oval shape, just like that. Okay, next one, we're going to be doing the ears. So a nice big shape like this, all the way to there. And then bring it all the way down. Remember, if I'm going too quickly, please just hit pause and rewind the video. We're going to be doing the other ear now. So this one comes round to the left at an angle and then comes all the way back. These fennec foxes have huge ears, so it doesn't look out of proportion, it's just that they've got gigantic ears. Okay, now for the eyes, just put in the eyes. One eye is going to go there, another eye is going to go there, and then the nose is going to be just about there. Now we're just going to make the body a little bit more realistic so I'm just going to add in the fox's bottom which is just over here so it comes out a little bit more okay and then we're just going to alter the shape a little bit because it's not completely round. Bring it up, down and tucked in there. Okay, so you can start erasing these guidelines if you like. Just get rid of those. That's stage one. Stage two, we're gonna be adding a bit more detail. So carry on in pencil, which is going to erase some of our guidelines. We're gonna put in a little bit more of a realistic nose. So it's got nostrils and everything. And then just lightly color it in. And then the eyes, again, we will erase the preliminary eyes that we did, which just to tell us where to put them. And draw a more realistic eye. And then the same on the other side. Got these lovely almond shaped eyes. We'll come back and we'll do more detail when we when we go over it in pen, but we're just getting just the basics in at the moment. So just draw some fur coming down like this just to give it a bit more shape. And it comes round and you can just see a little bit of the mouth that isn't hidden by this tail. So next we're going to be doing this lovely beautiful bushy tail so I'm just getting rid of the guideline that we did earlier. Okay so using lots of these furry lines just block 
exactly in where the tail is going to be. And it's just covering part of the face up. So go round. There we go. So this fox is all snug and warm, maybe hibernating and just all curled up and ready to go to sleep. There we go. It's what I feel like doing in winter. So do it all the way around. Fantastic. Next, we're going to do the head of the fox. So again, let's get rid of these guidelines. Okay, all done. And then we're just going to add some more furry lines to show the cheek coming up. These are just little short and sharp lines. You can do one smooth continuous line if you like, but I'm just trying to show that um, this animal's furry. So this can sometimes help, just like that. Okay, and then the same with the ears. So let's go and get rid of this horrible big guideline. There we go. All the way to top. This one's not quite so furry because the ears aren't that furry at all. And then bring it in. The inside of the ears, however, have some fur in them. So there we go. There we go. And the same with this one. So we're almost done. Just keep on going. If you've got this far, well done. You're doing so well. So, bring it round. This ear's got like a little kink in it. Bring it down, just like that. And then we'll do the furry inside, all the way up like this. Just like so. And then last but not least, we'd better put in a horizon. Otherwise it will look like a fox is just floating in the air. And then now I'm going to go over it in pen. I'll tell you what, I like using a really old felt tip pen when I do fur because it just gives that extra kind of texture to it. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the outline in pen. I've got this really old pen and it's kind of running out of juice, but I love it because when you lift it up, it produces um, this kind of line which gets a lot lighter at the end, if you can see what I mean. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but it just means that it makes the fur look a little bit more realistic. So get yourself an old marker or something and it can just help your technique a little bit. So I'm just going to go all the way around it using these kind of almost like brush stroke lines. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the finishing touches, just making the dark areas darker and the lighter areas lighter. No, not really. Only the darker areas darker. Okay, we're almost done. So I've made it really dark here at the bottom. And then I'll just add a tiny little bit of shadow just underneath the fox. Add in that background. And then we're going to do the eyes. I'm just going to swap pens because I need one with a bit more juice just to do the eye. So we're going to have an area of reflection there and one there, just like that. And then an area of reflection there and one at the bottom. So I'm now going to raise all the pencil lines and we'll have our finished drawing. So here's our finished Fennec Fox. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like. And if you have any requests whatsoever, leave them in the comment section below. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.